Welcome back to Go on Shaw TV. We have uh, a gentleman next to me that you might recognize. This is the lovely mayor of Thunder Bay, Mr. Keith Hobbs. How you doing, Mayor? Good. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm fantastic. Thanks for meeting us here uh, on this uh, beautiful patio outside the Bean Fiend here. We wanted to chat with you because we haven't spoken with you in a while, and uh, we miss you, quite frankly. So uh, we just want to see what's up. How's the mayor doing? Well, awesome. Uh, and this is a great neighborhood to do this interview in. Uh, we've seen a lot of vibrancy, and uh, that's what we're trying to work on is get these neighborhoods alive and uh, Bay and Algoma is a prime example of that. Lots happening here and trendy little shops going up and uh, you know small business 95% of our businesses in, in Thunder Bay are small business so I want to congratulate all those that are taking a risk and, uh, and those young entrepreneurs especially. It's great stuff we're seeing. There's been a real boom, like you said, with small businesses. Every time you turn around, it's I really like it because it gets away from the big chains, although you know the chains play a part, but it's really nice to see the people in our community coming out and with their own businesses. Yeah, and you know, we're especially seeing that in the downtown, uh, you know, the downtown district, uh, the waterfront district, I should say. And uh, it's really great. One of our restaurants was recognized in New York Times. So yes. Thunder Bay is on the map and we're moving uh, forward. We have our challenges, you know, and you read about it in the paper all the time. Uh, you know, people are taking shots at us. But I like the direction that we're going on, food strategies. There's all kinds of things, stormwater management, climate, climate adaptation. We had a, a climate town uh, hall meeting yesterday with Minister Haidu and uh, Minister Rusnak, and uh, it's great to see that the feds are on uh, board for that as well because we're looking at that in a big way. Excellent. Now, it, I know there's uh, it's it's May, like we're pretty much in June right now. It's summertime. What can we expect in the city? I know the one thing that I did notice is there's road work going on. Yeah, you can expect <laughs> chaos because, uh, you know, last four years and, and people don't get it. And I don't know how many times I've said it. We spent about $316 million on infrastructure improvements in the city in the last four years. And uh, people complain about our potholes and our roads. But if you look at uh, the work that we've done, Golf Links, Junot Corridor, Valley Street, uh, Harbor Expressway, May Street. Uh, we're going to be doing a, a big section of Balmoral Street this year. And, you know, it takes a lot of money to do those projects. Um, you know, Balmoral, or uh, Golf Links, Junot Corridor, we've spent $17 million on that project already. And we're still not finished it. So Balmoral, probably another $8 million. Uh, Valley Street was almost $3 million. So... Um, you know, when you think about a 1% tax increase equals $1.6 million, it's not cheap to do this, but we're, we're hammering away at it. That's great to hear. I know uh, I travel down Valley every day to go to work, and I love it now. It's just, it's hard to imagine how it used to be. Now, I know there's always the naysayers out there that, you know, you can't, so you just can't make everybody happy, right? You can't make anyone happy. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter what you do, you know, um, the, the more we do, the more, I think we bring attention to the potholes and, uh, mm -hmm. and the construction. When we have construction season, people are complaining because of the construction going on. They can't find a route to get to work. Um, that's a good problem in my eyes. Yeah, and I mean, I know whenever I have to go anywhere, I'm, there's always four ways to get there. It's And maybe that one takes one minute longer or the other one takes two minutes less. I mean, there's always a way to get around in Thunder Bay. Yeah, people just <laughs> need to slow down, be more laid back. Yeah, and uh, that's right. That's what I like about Thunder Bay. You know, I go to Toronto frequently and two hours to get anywhere, traffic congestion. <laughs> and um, I like a bit of congestion. I've said that because um, it shows that you're growing. But, that's right. you know, just chill. Just relax. I love it. I love your attitude. It's great. Um, now, one thing that did um, spark my interest is we, we were talking before the camera was rolling about the flood warning. It's still in effect. Well, the flood emergency, and yeah, in 2012, I signed yeah. a declaration of emergency, and that hasn't been lifted yet. We're still working on our sewage treatment plant, and we're almost there. Um, and people don't realize that uh, most people have gone on with their life, but uh, it's still with us. And we're still looking at funding from the government, uh, you know, and our insurance company to come to the party and, and help pay for those things. So um, that's an issue. I'm still working on Costco. Um, <laughs> I, I've got to tell, because people ask me this all the time, uh, the city has done whatever we can do. It's between the developer and Costco now. So it's in their hands, and um, it's very frustrating for me because they're moving at the speed of a glacier, yep. <laughs> and uh, I want to get it done now. The event center, um, you hear about it in the news that uh, people are saying, well, we have to do our due diligence. We've been at this for six years. We've done our due diligence. We're almost shovel ready. 
Uh, we're very encouraged with the Build in Canada Fund that has now included hockey rinks and recreational centres. So we think that next year we'll be eligible for that funding. And, um, you know, I maintain, uh, despite the, the large group that's vocal, um, that the majority of people still want it. I think it's going to be great for our downtown, again, our waterfront district. And uh, it's going to be an econ economic driver. So we're, we're staying with it. Our council are uh, adamant that we're going to get that done. Excellent. Uh, I mean, there's so much going on here in Thunder Bay, and uh, it's great to be a part of it. Uh, you know, we're working with Shaw TV and uh, and interviewing great people like yourself that are kind of, you know, making the city what it is. Now, how uh, with yourself, you know, we, we don't see you too much in the media, but uh, how long do you plan on sticking around as our mayor? Do you have you thought about that? Or well, you haven't seen me in the mayor yet, or in the in the media much because uh, TBT News don't interview me anymore. So that's one of the reasons they're still ban me but I mean I don't really care about that it's they're only hurting the community I think yep. but um, I don't know yet um, right now I'm leaning to retirement but who knows who could, things could change yeah. I just want to see this city grow I've got two and a half years left in this term and I'll do my best and uh, closer to election time I'll consider whether I'm going to run or not what, do you, what is one thing that you want to see in your in your two and a half years that you have left? Uh, say that as your last two and a half years. Is there something that you really want to see through? Yeah, definitely the social issues, and that's something that we don't talk about. I've talked about how great the city is and how great we're doing, but we have a dark underbelly too that we have to fix, and that's the drug and alcohol addictions. Uh, we're trying to clean up the downtown south. I'd like to see the roof ripped off Victoriaville and open up Victoria Avenue again. I, I totally agree with that one. Uh, bring that vitality back to the south core. We're seeing it happen in the north. There's no reason why we can't do it in the south. So that would be a big thing. I've, I'm hammering away at the federal and provincial government to fund uh, Aboriginal people off reserve and, and fund municipalities. We get zero dollars from the feds yet they just gave 8.4 billion to the uh, to indigenous uh, communities but Thunder Bay has to look after the health and social issues of these um, in some cases I call them lost souls that come down here with addictions with health problems and we get zero funding as municipalities so that's another thing that I want to see through that would be a real legacy not the event center that's not going to be a legacy for me that's a building yeah. it's a recreational facility so. yeah. That's real change, what you're talking about yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. That's great. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to add and say to our viewers? Uh, yeah, just everyone have a great summer. Uh, bear with us as we get into construction season and stay safe. Yes. Thank you so much. It's great to see you, and I hope we see you again real soon. Awesome. Right on. Keep watching. Go on Shaw TV.